Welcome back. Liz Warren keeps it creepy, tweeting nonsense from her TP. <laughs> oh, that's good. People like rhymes. True, the internet groans despite Liz Warren's high cheekbones. I speak of Massachusetts Senator and Cherokee na Nation icon Liz Warren. Here she is throwing an axe. <laughs> um, or I should have said tomahawk. You did, but thank you for recognizing Ooh. Yes. She, on Monday, she tweeted this doozy. On Indigenous People Day, People's Day, we celebrate the con contributions, the extraordinary resilience, and the rich cultures of tribal nations and Native communities. Today and every day, the federal government must recommit itself to honoring its promises to Native peoples. <laughs> I haven't seen a tweet that bad since Rachel Dolezal wished us a happy Black History Month. <laughs> Where is she? Warren, of course, falsely claimed Native American heritage a few years ago, even though her blood test came back as mayonnaise. <laughs> Still, this human bumper sticker thinks she's qualified to go all in for Indigenous Peoples Day, which has replaced Columbus Day in some cities that don't have casinos. <laughs> and more could be on the way. <laughs> While the Columbus Day parade went on, as usual, in New York on Monday, two Democrat lawmakers introduced a bill to erase it as a state holiday and replace it with Indigenous Peoples Day. And now even Halloween fun is toast in Philly, the birthplace of punching. <laughs> One school district has canceled its annual Halloween parades for not being inclusive enough. That's the problem in Philly. <laughs> Holy crap. Apparently it was a problem because not everyone celebrates Halloween and those kids have had to sit in the library during past parades, which is cruel considering they haven't been taught to read. <laughs> but since it's Philly, the kids are still allowed to wear masks when they rob convenience stores. So Liz, anything more to add? I stand by my words, okay? I'm not the type of person to give you something and then take it back. It's been many moons since my failed presidential campaign when I bravely battled fellow women of color, Tulsi Gabbard and Beto O'Rourke. All Americans deserve a puff on the pipe of peace. You don't need a reservation. Now, I gotta go. I'm off to the optometrist for my vision quest. Okay, I'll see you. I'll see you. All right, Mercedes. Why is the left so obsessed with changing things? Right? They're just changing. They got to change the Columbus that's Day. That's a very broad question. It is. That's true. I could actually said that about the A block. Exactly. Changing things, literally. All right. What's your answer? Well, first, I believe Dr. Fauci is the one that's in charge of the Halloween parade in Philadelphia because <laughs> uh, he doesn't want it to happen. They don't want this Halloween parade. I mean, give me a break. These poor kids, they have suffered enough. They've had enough mental health issues. They're having issues in school. And on top of that, you're going to take away Halloween? I mean, we've, they've already taken away Christmas and Thanksgiving under the Fauci rule. Let the kids be kids. Let's go back to the time when you know, it was a joyful time and period to get together with your friends, dress however you want to dress, and go get candy. And they've made everything into a political fight, a political division, and, and it's just an outrage. And, and on Elizabeth Warren, I just want to say one thing. She should just claim that she is, now that you can identify yeah, as anything, you can. you can identify as anything, yeah. become an Italian-American and support Columbus Day. There you go. That's what I would do. <laughs> She'd be a terrible Italian. I don't think she can cook. No way. Iris. She can drink beer, though. Yeah, no, if can she can only beer. open the bottle. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's funny. When somebody uses minorities for financial gain and job placement and is able to come back and still honor them, and everyone's okay with that. Mm -hmm. Like, when has that ever been, like, shouldn't she have been answering questions on the Hill? Yeah. Like, you used to pretend it to be something you're not to get jobs, to yes. get favors. Get into school. To get elections. You fra took, defrauded your voters. They thought they, yeah, you, they thought they were voting for someone who was Native American and was proud of their heritage. And so, in a way, isn't that some form of, like, crime? Mm -hmm. But yet she's there. So facts mean absolutely nothing because there's no consequences. She can even make jokes about it now. I don't think the people that were that lost their jobs or their opportunities because of her playing around with the with the applications, knowing damn well what she was doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think they were laughing. And yeah. again, 
everything comes down to, and you look for jokes, but the joke in itself is the woke. They do these things. The reason why you said it on the five today, you're like, you know, nobody ever wants to work and merge in anything. They just want to end it and start their own. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I guarantee you there's going to be a fact finding committee based on Indigenous People Day. And there's going to be a committee and there'll be their buddies who are obviously got to get paid to research to find out just how bad it was. And then they make money, they get stuff, they get speaking engagements or whatever, uh, boosters, campaign contributions. That's why they don't want to merge with nothing. They want to stop it so they can make their own on it. Mm. Kat, they're coming for Halloween. They might as well just come for your birthday. Well, that's the thing. Halloween's always stealing the thunder away from my birthday. Yeah, I, oh, so you want Halloween gone? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't see well, that coming. Well, we can change it to my birthday, just celebrated <laughs> nationally. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I just feel for these kids, like, if that's one day a year that you don't feel included, you're doing okay. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's true. <laughs> but that's your problem. I don't yeah. like Halloween. You yeah, know? for me, it was, like, the only time they couldn't see who I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it was the only time it was okay. Oh, uh, everybody feels bad now. Yeah, no, it's, it, I've moved on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's obviously absurd, but everything will be canceled yeah. at some point. We'll all just sit there. Yeah, but... and I've been way ahead of that trend because that's all I do is sit, Joey. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's all I do. Well, listen, my mama didn't let me celebrate Halloween. So I have some childhood trauma from this. Really? But thankfully, my dad was super cool. Mm -hmm. So he kept a werewolf mask in the toolbox of his truck 365 <laughs> days a year so that he could take me to my grandparents on Halloween. Uh -huh. And we would go out trick or treat, trick or treating. So I've been like, I had overalls on one day, so I was redneck werewolf. I had my Ninja <laughs> Turtle pajamas on one day, one Halloween, so I was Ninja Turtle werewolf. Like, I've been <laughs> every version of a werewolf for Halloween you could think of. And, uh, and just let me say, let the kids celebrate Halloween because my mama would give me all of those Halloweens for all the heathen things she thinks or knows that I do now. <laughs> like, if she would have just let me have Halloween, yeah. I'd probably be preaching somewhere. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> instead, I borrowed this shirt from Elizabeth Warren. I come on this show and drop <laughs> F-bombs. You know. And on that note... Very New Mexico of you. Yes, it is. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.